In Art Catalog, examine the catalog tree, normally on the left side of the window. It can be used to view and explore data folders. Click a plus sign to expand a folder to show its contents. Click a minus sign to collapse it. If any folders are expanded right now, click the minus signs to close them all. You should see exactly the same entries as when adding data in the Chapter 1 tutorial. Expand the Folder Connections entry. You'll see the same connection that you added in ArcMap in Chapter 1. The viewing area on the right has three tabs, Contents, Preview, and Description. Make sure that the Contents tab is currently clicked. Expand the connection to the MGIS data folder to see the subfolders. Click on the Oregon folder. The panel on the right updates to show its contents. These buttons change how the Contents tab displays the information. Click on each one in turn and see how the view changes. When you're finished, click on the third setting to leave it on Details. In the Catalog tree, expand the Oregon subfolder and the Oregon Data GEA database. Click on the Cities feature class. The Contents tab will update to show an icon for it. Click on the Preview tab. The Viewing panel now shows the features. You can use the Zoom and Pan tools to zoom into some of the cities. You can use the Identify tool as you did in ArcMap to get information from the table about one of them. Close the Identify window when you're done. Click on the Geography drop-down button and select Table instead. Scroll to the right to examine the Table Attribute fields. Click the Table Options button to view the commands available in this menu, but don't select any at this time. Just click on the blue bar at the top to close the menu. Click on the GTOPO SHD raster to view its table. Click the Preview button and change it back to Geography. If you are still zoomed in, click the Full Extent button to return to the full extent of the data. You can click on each one of the data sets in turn to see what it looks like. This is a good way to quickly see what is inside a folder. With the last data set still highlighted, click on the Description tab to show the metadata for this data set. Notice the different types of information present. Click on another feature class to view its item description. When you're done, click the Preview tab to return to viewing the data instead of the metadata. Right-click on the Parks feature class and choose Properties. Examine each of the tabs, but be careful not to make any changes. Click Cancel to close the window. Right-click the GTOPO 1 km raster and choose Properties. Examine how vector properties differ from feature class properties. Close the raster properties if necessary, and then collapse the Oregon folder. Now expand the Rapid City folder. Inside it, expand the Archive folder. This folder has many different types of GIS data. When you're finished looking at it, close the Archive and the Rapid City folders. Examine the catalog tree and find the connection to your MGIS data folder. Click the Connect to Folder button on the main toolbar. Navigate through the folder tree to your computer, the C drive, and select your GIS class folder to create a connection to it. Click OK. Find where the new connection was added under Folder Connections and expand it. The MGIS data folder is within it. 
Right-click the first CGIS class MGIS Data Connection and choose Disconnect Folder. Then expand the MGIS data underneath your second connection to see its folders. Right-click the CGIS class folder in the catalog tree and choose New Folder. When it appears, type in the name NJ Project with an underscore. Press Enter to finish naming the folder. Right-click the NJ Project folder and choose New File Geodatabase. When it appears, name it New Jersey without a space. Press Enter. Right-click the New Jersey Geodatabase and choose Import Feature Class Single. Click the Browse button next to the Input Features box. Navigate to the USA folder and into the US Data Geodatabase. Click on the State's Feature Class and click Add. The output location is already set to your New Jersey database because you right-clicked it. In the Output Feature Class box, enter the name to be given to the new feature class, New Jersey BND. Click on the SQL button next to the Expression box to open the Query Builder. Double-click on the State Name field to add it to the lower panel. Click the Equals button and then click the Get Unique Values button. Scroll down and find New Jersey in the list and double-click it to enter it below as well. The expression should now read State Name equals New Jersey. Click Verify to make sure that it is correctly formatted. And if it is OK, click OK. If it's not, you can clear the expression and try again. When it's correct, click OK to close the Query Builder. The window should now look as shown. Click OK to start importing. Expand the New Jersey Geodatabase if necessary and click on the New Feature class. Make sure the Contents tab is clicked. Notice that the icon still shows all of the states. We will fix this in a moment. Click on the Preview tab. The new feature class only has New Jersey, as it should. Click on the Create Thumbnail button to update the icon for the data set. Click on the Contents tab. The icon only shows New Jersey now. Click on the Description tab in the Viewing panel and then click the Edit button. Modify the tags and the summary to better reflect what is in the dataset now. In the Description box, Add this statement at the end to show that you subset the data. In the Credits box, construct a citation so that you can remember where you got the data. When you're finished editing the metadata, click Save. Next, we will import the cities, but we need to know what query to use. Expand the MGIS Data folder and the USA folder and the US Data Geo Database. Click on the Cities Feature class. Click on the Preview tab and set the Preview drop-down to Table. What do you think the expression should be this time? Find your New Jersey Geo Database. Right-click it and choose Import Feature Class Single. Click on the Browse button and set the input features to the cities in the US Data Geo Database. Name the Output Feature Class 
NJ Cities. Click on the SQL button and enter the expression state equals, click on Get Unique Values, and choose the NJ abbreviation. Click Verify to make sure it is correct. Click OK and click OK again. And once more to run the tool. Click the new NJ Cities feature class in the GEA database. Click the Preview tab to ensure that only the New Jersey cities are present. Click on the Create Thumbnail button to update the icon. Then click on the Description button and choose Edit to edit the item description as we did before. Be sure to put a citation in the Credits box. Click Save when you're finished. Perhaps we would like to add highways to this GEA database. Expand the Transportation Feature Dataset in the U.S. Data GEA database and choose Major Roads to highlight it. Click on the Preview tab and set the Preview Type to Table. When we examine with the fields, we cannot find any state field that we could use to query. So we would have to do this one differently. We will learn how later. On the main toolbar, click the Catalog button to open the catalog. If it opens docked on the right side, leave it there. If it opens anywhere else, click the bar at the catalog window's top and drag it to the blue arrow that appears at the side of the ArcMap window. Release the mouse to dock the window. In the catalog tree, collapse any expanded folders, leaving only the C GIS class connection. Expand the GIS class connection, then expand MGIS data, and expand the USA folder. Then expand the US Data GEA database. Right click the Rivers feature class and choose Item Description. It will take a few moments to open. Move or resize the item description window so that you can see both it and the catalog. Read through the information about the Rivers feature class. Click the CD111 feature class to see its item description without having to close the item description window. In the item description window, click on the preview tab. This will show you the map. You can use the zoom and pan tools just as you did in our catalog. Change the geography drop down to table to see the feature class table. Find the state abbreviation field. Right click it and choose sort ascending. Scroll down and find the districts for your state. Click on the Table Options menu and open it. Choose Find and Replace. Then search for Boehner. Type in the name and choose Find Next. The cursor in the table highlights the cell when it finds it. Close the Find and Replace and the Item Description windows. Click the Auto Hide button on the Catalog window to hide it, creating a Catalog tab where the window was docked. Hold the cursor over the Catalog tab without a click needed to open it. Move off the window to hide it again. Click on the CD111 feature class in the Catalog tree and drag it into the Map window. Release the mouse button to drop it into the map. Right-click the CD111 layer symbol in the Table of Contents, not the Catalog tree, and choose a pale yellow symbol. On the main menu bar, open Geoprocessing, 
Geoprocessing Options. Under Background Processing, uncheck the Enable box and click OK. On the main menu bar, click on the Arc Toolbox button. Dock the Arc Toolbox on the right side of the window if necessary, and use the Auto Hide button to fold it away. When you want a tool, hover over the Toolbox tab and the Toolbox will open. Open Arc Toolbox and expand the Conversion Tools toolset. Then expand the two geodatabase tools. Double click on the Feature Class to Feature Class tool. This opens it and the tool looks exactly the same as the one we previously used. From the Catalog window, click on the CD111 Feature Class and drag it into the Input Features box. Release the mouse button to drop it in the tool. Then find your New Jersey Geodatabase and from your New Jersey Project folder. Click and drag the database icon into the Output Location box on the tool and drop it in. Name the Output Feature class NJ Districts. Click on the SQL button to enter the expression. Find the state abbreviation field and double click to enter it in the box below. Click the equals and then click the Get Unique Values button. Find the abbreviation for New Jersey and double click it to enter it as well. Click Verify to make sure that the expression is correct and click OK. Then click OK to finish the query and OK once more to start running the tool. It will take a minute or two. Close the reporting box if necessary when it finishes. Note that the new feature class is added to the table of contents when a tool finishes. Click the Zoom In button and zoom into New Jersey to make sure that the export worked. In the catalog tree, expand the New Jersey Geodatabase if necessary and right click the NJ Districts feature class. Choose Item Description. Click on the Preview tab to ensure that only the New Jersey districts are present. Click the Create Thumbnail button to update the icon. Then click the Description button and choose Edit to edit the item description window and update it to reflect that it is now only New Jersey. Remember to put a citation in the Credits box. When you're finished editing, choose Save and close the item description window. From the Table of Contents, right-click the original CD111 Districts layer and choose Remove. On the main toolbar, click the Search Window button. Dock it on the right-hand side of the ArcMap window and click the Auto Hide button to fold it away. Then open it again and type Clip into the search box and click on the Search button. Find the Clip Analysis tool and click on it to open it. From the Catalog tab, expand the Transportation Feature Dataset and click and drag the Major Roads Feature class in for the input features. Scroll down and find the New Jersey Districts layer and drag it in and make it the Clip Features. Click on the Browse button for the Output Feature class. 
Navigate into your GIS class folder, into your New Jersey project folder, and into the New Jersey GIA database. Name the output Major Road Clip. Click Save, and then click OK to run the tool. Right-click the layer's data frame name and choose Properties. Click on the Coordinate System tab and find the Projected Coordinate Systems folder. Expand it and then expand the State Plane folder. Then expand the NAD83 Meters folder. Always use the plain one and not one of the specialized one. Make sure it says NAD83 Meters only and expand it. Scroll down and find the State Plane Coordinate System for New Jersey. Click on it to select it and click OK. From the Catalog tab, find the Quakehiss Feature class and click and drag it into the map. Double-click the Quakehiss layer in the Table of Contents and click on the Source tab to examine where it is from. Look at the coordinate system, noting that it's in North America equidistant conic. When you're done looking at it, close the Layer Properties window. Right-click the Quake Hiss layer in the Table of Contents and choose Open Attribute Table. On the Table toolbar, click the Select by Attributes button. This opens the Select by Attributes window, very similar to the Query Builder in our catalog. Double-click on the State field to enter it in the bottom below. Then click Equals and click Get Unique Values. Find the New Jersey State abbreviation and double-click to enter it in the expression. Click Apply. Examine the bottom of the table window and note that six quakes are selected. Close the table window. The selected quakes in New Jersey are also highlighted on the map. In the Table of Contents, right-click the Quakehiss layer and choose Data, Export Data. Make sure it's set to export the selected features and to use the same coordinate system as the data frame. Click on the Browse button. Make sure the Save As type is set to File and Personal Geodatabase Feature Classes. Make sure that you are in the New Jersey Geodatabase and then enter the name for the output feature class as njquakes underscore sp. Click Save. Check the Export Data window and then click OK. Click Yes to add the exported data to the map as a layer. Double-click the new feature class in the Table of Contents window. Click on the Source tab and examine the coordinate system to confirm that it's now in New Jersey State Plain. Close the Properties. Then right-click the original Quake Hiss layer and choose Remove. In the Catalog window, find the New Jersey, New Jersey Quake State Plain feature class and choose Item Description. Click the Edit button and edit it to reflect the fact that it's only in New Jersey. Also click on Preview and update the thumbnail. Save your changes and close the window. Open the Catalog tab. Find the original New Jersey BND feature class and add it to your map. Examine the state boundaries closely, changing the color if necessary to see it better. 
they don't seem to match. In the catalog tree, right-click the NJ Districts Feature class and choose Item Description. Scroll down and examine the Scale Range section. Notice the maximum and minimum recommended scales. Leaving the Item Description window open, open the Catalog window and click on the New Jersey BND Feature class to see its metadata. Scroll down and examine its scale range. These scales are much smaller than the other data set. Close the Item Description window. Examine the scale readout on the main toolbar. It should be at about 1 to 2 million. On the main toolbar, click on the small block arrow next to the Add Data button and choose Add Data from ArcGIS Online. In the search box, enter Detailed States and click the Search button. Find the entry USA States, a layer package hosted by ESRI. Click on the Details link to read about it and then write down a citation for it. Click the Add button to add the layer package to the map. If you see a Geographic Coordinate Systems warning, simply choose Don't Warn Me Again in this session and click Close. Right-click the Layer Package layer for U.S. states below 1 to 3 million and choose Open Attribute Table. Click on the Select by Attributes button. Double-click the State Name field, click Equals, and then click Get Unique Values and find the New Jersey State Name. Double-click to enter it. Verify the expression and click Apply. Close the table. Right-click the U.S. Dates Below 1 to 3 Million layer and choose Data, Export Data. Make sure you use the selected features and the same coordinate system as the data frame. Since it's already set to save to the New Jersey GEO database, you can simply change the name from Export Output to njstate underscore dtl. Click OK and add the new feature class to the map. Open the catalog window and right click the new New Jersey State Detailed Feature class and choose Item Description. Choose Edit and edit the appropriate sections to reflect that it's now New Jersey. Remember to put a formal citation in the credits box so you know where you found it. When you're done, click Save. And then close the item description window. Right-click the USA States group layer and remove it from the map. Open the catalog window and find our original New Jersey BND feature class. Right click it and choose Delete. Click Yes to confirm the deletion. Open Internet Explorer and enter the search term New Jersey Shapefile. Look for ones that appear to be state-sponsored. Find the New Jersey DEP GIS State of New Jersey link and click on it to open it. This site appears to be an excellent source of data for New Jersey. In the catalog tree, right-click the New Jersey Project folder 
and choose New Folder. When it appears, name it Downloads and click Enter. In the New Jersey data site, click on the drop down button and find the Elevation Contours entry. Click on it, find the Elevation Contours data set, and click the Download button. Use Save As to save the zip file into your New Jersey folder on the C drive in GIS class, New Jersey Project, and Downloads. Note its name and click Save. Minimize the website for a moment, but don't close it. Open Windows Explorer on your computer. Open the C drive and GIS class, New Jersey Project, and Downloads. Find your elevation zip file and extract it using one of the zip tools. A number of new files will appear. As you may recall from Chapter 1, shape files are the equivalent of multiple files in Windows Explorer. Close Windows Explorer. Open the Catalog tab and look in your New Jersey Project Downloads folder. You should now see the STCon shape file. Click it and drag it into your map. Back in our catalog, right click the shape file and choose Item Description. In the Item Description window, click on the Preview tab and update the thumbnail by clicking on the Create Thumbnail button. Return to the Description tab and choose Edit. You don't need to change anything, but you should put a citation in the credits box so you know where this data set came from. Paste it in and click Save. Close the item description window when you're finished. In the table of contents, right click the STCon layer and open its properties. Click on the Source tab and examine the coordinate system. It's already in NAD 83 New Jersey State Plain. Close the layer properties. Right click the STCon layer in the table of contents and choose Data, Export Data. Choose to export all features just in case use the coordinate system of the data frame. Save the output in the New Jersey GEO database and name it NJLFCon. Click OK. And add it to the map. Click on the first data layer, hold down the Shift key, and click on the last one to select them all. Right click and choose Remove. Click on the Add Data button. Navigate to your New Jersey Project folder in the GIS class folder. Open the New Jersey GIA database. Click on the first layer. Hold down the Shift key to click on the last layer. And then click Add to add them all. From the main menu bar, choose File, Map Document Properties. Check the box to store relative path names to data sources and click OK.
On the layer's data frame name, click on it twice slowly and change its name to New Jersey. Press Enter to enter the name. Edit each layer name so that it is English rather than a file name. When you have finished changing all the names, try editing the symbols to make a nicer map. When you are done editing the symbols, click the Save Map button. Make sure you save it in the Map Documents folder and call it NJ Map. Click Save. On the main menu bar, choose Customize ArcMap Options. Click on the General tab. Check the box to make relative paths the default for new map documents and click OK. From the main menu bar, choose Help, Desktop Help. Click on the Contents tab. Expand the GeoData section by clicking on the plus sign and then expand the datasets provided with ArcGIS and the Esri Data and Maps. Use these sections and books to find out more about the datasets. Make sure that you look at the redistribution rights. Read through it and make sure you understand what these numbers mean so that you know what datasets you can give and what you can't. When you're done looking at it, close Help. In the Catalog tab, your instructor will tell you where to find the ESRI data and MAPS data, and you may need to add a connection to it. Once you have the connection, click down and look in the USA folder, and then in the Census folder. Here look for the zip code polygons in this data set right here. Open the SDC and click and drag the feature class into the map. You can ignore this warning. Right click the zip codes and choose Open Attribute Table. Note that it has a state field to select the zip codes. Click on Select by Attributes. Double click State, click Equals, click on Get Unique Values and find the New Jersey abbreviation and double click it as well. Click Verify to check the expression and then click Apply to finish the query. Close the table and notice that the New Jersey zip codes are now selected. Right click the zip poly layer and choose Data, Export Data. Make sure you export the selected features and use the coordinate system of the data frame so that it's saved in New Jersey State Plain. Save it in the New Jersey Geodatabase and name it Zip Codes. Click OK and add it to the layer. You can remove the original Zip Poly layer when you're finished. In the Catalog window, right-click the New Zip Codes layer and choose Item Description. Click on the Preview tab and update the thumbnail by clicking the Thumbnail button. Return to the Description tab and choose Edit. Update the items to make sure that it now reflects only New Jersey. In the Credits box, Place your citation for the Esri Data and Maps publication. Click Save and close the item description box.